This is our uh, high comfort seat, ventilated. A lot of adjustment in that seat, both in the seat cushion, fore aft position, a lot of places, a lot more leg room, a lot more room everywhere inside the arm bars where the operator needs to have that extra room. Um, and then uh, we also talked about uh, the cameras. I wanna point those out to you as well. Those little black boxes on either side, you guys on that side, you see the little box down the left arm there, the black box. That's where we get our 270 cameras um, that give you that visibility around. I, I think Chris Ford was talking about, he, he said 360, well, front is your eyeballs. That's, your, that's the front part of that 360. But back here where you, you wanna be able to see in those tight quarters operations, and I think Derek as well elaborated on that. Those are where those are located. That's what gives you that visibility that you'll be able to see when we put you in the machines here a little bit uh, after we get through the walk around. Um, just want to switch it up. Yeah. So one of the big things with this newly designed cab that we have heard in the industry now for quite a long time is we want that bigger cab. Um, there is that, that statement of, I want the big man's cab, big operator's cab, whatever that may be. And a lot of times, uh, a lot of times it's perception. Um, once you're in that cab, with this, we didn't focus on perception. We focused on reality. And it's like, let's make this cab a big cab that they feel comfortable in, but make it functional, right? Make it so that hey, we're not just throwing all that space out there and make you feel that you're actually in a in a big wheel loader, but you're not. We want to still have that make sense from a compact track loader stand, uh, standpoint. We're giving you all of that that room to fit, to move your seat fore and aft, have your your layout right here, easy to get to, everything everything makes sense. Very ergonomic and cab forward, right? That's right. And that is the, again, it's another one of these, the, the terms that we've been hearing for years, you guys been hearing, you know, that customer feedback, that voice of customer, this is what we need, this is what we need out of Caterpillar. We need that cab to be bigger and to um, accommodate everybody. We we need that, and so for us, it was a it was a big endeavor um, to be able to pull off a cab with with this size, and then with that much adjustability and functionality in there. And when you guys get in it later, I hope you're going to notice right away. Wow, this is. This gives us a, a different feeling than I think we've had before in a, in a compact track loader or zero loader. Yeah, and Trevor mentioned this in the question and answer session you guys had after the presentation. You know, the standard, what we're calling our standard joysticks and our standard uh, monitor in the cab uh, it is not anything but basic. It is absolutely uh, a high level of functionality to be able to uh, work any of our smart attachments. This happens to be a smart attachment here on the front. Even at our standard joystick level, it, it has everything you need to do to run every one of the attachments that we offer. Okay, so it can control any of the attachments Caterpillar offers. Uh, then you step up to these joysticks, right? And you guys will get an opportunity to get in there and, and, and look at those. And it gives all that additional functionality that you want to have in there. So you can keep your hands on the joystick. It has the little D-pad, uh, if you want to call it. You don't need a jog dial, if you will, to navigate the display. You don't need to take your hands off and find that jog dial. Your jog dial or your D-pad is right on the joystick. And you can navigate that display. You can do your radio. You can make your creep adjustment. This machine specifically, we're in front of the 255. And it's got our high flow XPS system. We'll, we'll talk more about that in a second. One of the things I've said for a long time is that a compact track loader or skid steer loader for that matter is the most versatile piece of equipment that a manufacturer can offer a customer. Specifically in Caterpillar, it's the most versatile piece of equipment we make, right? Because of all the things you can put on the front of it. You can go from bucket to dozer blade to grater blade to forks to, you know, the, the, the lineup is expansive and what you can do with the machine and how it can help a customer accomplish something faster, safer, more efficiently, right? 255, and we talked about it in the classroom, we're gonna have three levels of auxiliary performance. We're gonna have standard flow. Standard flow, we increased our standard pressure, and we're increasing the flow on the 255 model, specifically at the standard flow level. And that valving architecture that we're putting in those machines allow us to run 
all of our attachments, including our smart attachments. On some of our previous models, you had to maybe do something slightly different as far as uh, the hydraulic system architecture. On the 55 and 65, even at your standard hydraulic flow, you'll be able to power and work with all of these attachments. Every okay. attachment we make, yep. you can run with this system. Standard joysticks, standard hydraulic flow, powers all of our attachments. Uh, and we have a range of performance matched attachments. And so they do change as we go through the different hydraulic systems. And we'll talk about those for a second too. So we do have uh, attachments that benefit from some additional hydraulic flow. And as you guys heard in the, the presentation, we've got standard flow, which we, we've done some things to, to increase our standard pressure. But that we've also got the capability to take that standard flow machine. And if a customer desires uh, to have additional flow then they can, through what we call a software-enabled attachment, we abbreviate that as SEA, that software-enabled attachment will allow uh, the dealer to make that adjustment right there on the spot and turn that on for our customer. And with the Product Link Elite, you, you mentioned the Product Link Elite, that system is a little bit new for us from the standpoint of it has some additional functionality that our previous Product Link that we offered did not, and that you can do some things remotely, including turn on the software-enabled attachment for high flow. So a customer doesn't necessarily even have to come back to the shop if he's got the elite system on his machine. That could be done remotely. So when we talk about the high flow, we're talking about going from a standard flow machine. It's high flow ready. It's got all the hardware on it. We're making the turn uh, through software to turn it up to the 30 gallons a minute at our standard pressure. And then if you've got a customer who wants to go to the next level of performance, you can go to the high flow XPS system. And you can think about XPS as being extra pressure system. Um, that means that gives you an additional flow above what you can uh, what you can get on a standard flow machine, but you also get additional pressure for that additional performance out of the attachments. And those could be, you know, heavy duty brush cutters and mulchers and things that require that additional pressure and torque to actually perform on a machine. 